In this chapter, we'll show you how to easily unwrap objects in Unrella I.O. using different unwrapping methods. Unwrapping in Unrella I.O. is as simple as it gets. In the optimal case, you just drag and drop your object into the viewport and press the Unwrap button, while this instantly generates a UV map for generic objects, using specialized unwrapping modes designed for different topology types can significantly improve quality. First, let's take a look at the Hard Surface Unwrapping Mode. By default, this mode is an excellent all-rounder, but it's particularly well-suited for fast and reliable unwrapping of hard-edged, angular, geometric shapes, such as architectural structures, mechanical forms, and objects where other methods don't yield satisfying results. Typical examples include buildings, office desks, bookshelves, and sci-fi panelized designs. Hard surface unwrapping requires almost no settings. Just press the unwrap button and let it do the work. The next mode is organic, designed for geometry with smooth, flowing shapes, a clean quad-based topology, and logical edge flow. This method is perfect for characters, creatures, and natural objects, where seamless UV mapping is crucial. It includes two key settings that can significantly improve the quality of the output. Stretch input controls the amount of stretching allowed in the UV map. A value of zero means no stretching is permitted, while one allows maximum stretching. This helps manage UV distortion by optimizing how UV charts are relaxed and distributed, ensuring a more balanced texture representation. In many cases, you may want to unwrap a shape into as few UV charts as possible, so setting stretch input to one forces the system to keep everything in larger pieces. While this might work initially, it can introduce distortions as the UV charts struggle to stay flat. The stretch factor attempts to compensate for this by flattening the topology, but if the shape cannot handle extreme flattening, it may start to warp. Lowering the value allows the function to break the shape into more UV charts, reducing distortion and ensuring a cleaner, more relaxed UV layout. Another highly useful setting is cutting along angles, which automatically places UV seams along grooves or ridges in the geometry. The placement of these seams is controlled by the angle threshold setting. If the angle between surface normals exceeds the specified threshold, a seam is added. This helps optimize UV unwrapping by ensuring that sharp grooves and deep recesses are properly handled in the UV layout. Cutting grooves detects concave angles and places seams along them. Cutting ridges identifies convex angles and cuts seams along them. Here's a simple visual example of how cutting grooves and ridges can significantly reduce UV stretching. Unwrapping an object with full stretch may produce a single UV chart, but this often results in extreme stretching, especially in dynamic forms. Applying 45-degree ridge cutting will automatically place UV seams along all convex edges at 45 degrees or below. However, this alone won't allow a twisted form, such as the inside of a screw head, to unwrap properly as a single UV chart, by adding 45-degree groove cutting, additional seams are placed at key concave areas, separating problematic parts and allowing them to unfold without distortion. At first, this process may seem abstract, but once you understand how to use it, you'll be able to achieve remarkably clean and efficient UV layouts with ease. The Cut Holes option automatically detects open holes in the mesh and generates UV seams extending outward from them. This prevents gaps in the UV map and often results in better UV relaxation, allowing for a more evenly distributed UV grid. While this option can improve unwrapping quality in many cases, there are situations where cutting holes is not desirable. If unwanted seams appear, you may choose to disable this option. Since there is no absolute rule on when to use it, experimentation is recommended to achieve the most suitable result for your specific model. 
The mosaic mode is designed for irregular and complex surfaces that do not fit well into either the hard or organic unwrapping methods. Using hard mode on such surfaces would result in overly fragmented UV maps, while organic mode could lead to long calculation times and excessive UV stretching. This mode is particularly useful for highly triangulated, bent, or faceted topologies, such as photogrammetry scans or rough, uneven 3D models. Mosaic aims to minimize UV stretching while keeping the number of UV charts as low as possible, ensuring an efficient and well-balanced UV layout. Finally, the Keep Seam switch allows you to retain the existing UV seams imported with the object, using them as the default instead of generating new ones. This is especially useful if your model already has well-placed seams and you want to preserve them during the unwrapping process. Thank you for watching. Get Unrella IO, optimize your workflow, and start creating with ease. Download it now from our homepage.